Sometimes I really do think we've seen this movie before. Yes! Life has a funny way of repeating itself. What did you do today? Oh, same old, same old. Now that's how I am beginning to feel about our new élu at City Hall. Unilateral decisions without consultation. My way or the highway, it's pretty much what sagged Denis Coderre, and I am not sure that Projet Montréal folks have learned anything. Ideology, it seems, is a good enough raison d'etre. The new plan for St. Catherine Street may look good on paper, but some say it's a recipe for disaster. Now, the hallmarks of largely pedestrian downtown areas can be failed businesses and trouble zones. Distrant and Carrefour Laval may start looking even more attractive. Now, there is merit in the idea, but can we please have more of a conversation about it? This city belongs to all of us. Now, same thing with the full speed ahead plan to cut off traffic over Mount Royal. The so-called consultation will come after the horse has left the barn. Now, I wonder if Luc Fernandez even considered the people who need to get to the cemeteries. Now, this week, a second cemetery came out against the idea. The director of Mount Royal Cemetery notes it will be only accessible from the east, and a majority of visitors and mourners come from the west. Now, the plan will only lead to confusion and hardship for people when they need it the least. But then again, this is ideology. When this administration was elected on a promise to put people first, it seems to me it's people on bicycles first. Now, the Quebec government spends $26.5 billion on health care and social services every year. It's a number large enough to make your head spin. But sometimes I wonder if they get it. You'd better tell the captain. We've got to land as soon as we can. This woman has to be gotten to a hospital. A hospital? What is it? It's a big building with patients, but that's not important right now. Now, if you spend hours upon hours at a hospital ER, you know it's no laughing matter. But what is the solution? The situation in emergency rooms is not getting better, and we continue to have some of the worst wait times in the Western world. Last year, the health minister warned hospital administrators to improve, but it seems little has changed. The Gazette reported this week that more than 400 patients were on stretchers in hospital corridors for more than 24 hours. Add to this the warning from Quebec's Auditor General that cancer patients are waiting too long for surgery. More than 40% of cancer patients in Quebec waited a month or more for operations. Now this will be on voters' minds come Election Day, maybe more than any other issue. We have heard promises upon promises from every party for years on how they will make it work. Now there are good people in the system doing their best, but it's a big ship, and turning it around is proving almost impossible. Do you really think the CAC or the PQ have magic solutions? Then there is the question of access to health care for English-speaking Quebecers. The Liberals, at least, are promising access plans developed and approved by the community. I'm not sure the other parties give us much serious thought. But there is lots to think about as we approach October 1st. Did you get the much-talked-about emergency alert on your phone this week? Well, of course you didn't. What a screw-up. Had to do with spelling, apparently, or bad syntax. You would think for this one big moment they could get it right. Good thing there weren't any incoming. Radar O'Reilly has retired. Well, sometimes our Prime Minister seems like the Apology King. Now, looking in from the outside, it might seem that the all-too-Canadian I'm sorry, is used far too often. But to the groups and individuals concerned, these words do matter. They are important, and we should always remember that. Now, this week, the PM announced Canada would apologize for turning away a ship of Jewish refugees fleeing Nazi terror. It was truly a deep stain on our history. Now, Canada, at the time, shamefully had a policy towards Jews that none was too many. In 1939, the MS St. Louis, carrying 907 German Jews, was turned away by Canada under Prime Minister Mackenzie King. The ship had previously been turned away by Cuba and the United States. The St. Louis returned to Germany, and more than 250 of those passengers were slaughtered in the Holocaust. So yes, an apology is long overdue. It won't change what happened, but it will serve as a reminder that we can never give in to that kind of darkness again.
ever. I'm Barry Wilson. You can follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to check out our weekly poll on Facebook. We want to know what you think.